Start with the Mount Rushmore of the John Deere Classics. Some very familiar names, some John Deere Classic legends back in the Quad Cities today. And we start with the three-time champion, Steve Stricker, back in the Quad Cities for the first time since 2018. Stricker, of course, is one of the most successful and decorated golfers in Quad City history. The Alana alum is a very busy man, though, these days. He just won the senior players a few weeks ago. He's also the captain for the Ryder Cup. Despite everything that's going on, though, there was no way that Strick was going to miss the 50th John Deere Classic. It's a special week here. It's 50 uh, years here for the John Deere Classic, and um, having this tournament mean so much to me over the years, uh, it just felt like a no-brainer to come back here and uh, to play here. Uh, it's, a, it's an easy trip for me. It's in the car, drive three hours and I'm here. And like I said, it's a special place for me and my family. And um, I always enjoy coming here. And it's, it's been hard to miss the last few years, to tell you the truth. Uh, the senior players have has been opposite the John Deere Classic. Uh, so that was switched uh, this year. And uh, being 50 years, I thought it was a good time to be here at the John Deere. Steve Stricker will tee off in round one of the John Deere Classic bright and early at 718 with defending champion Dylan Patelli and Brian Harmon. From a three-time champ to the person who has played Deer Run the best, Zach Johnson is back in the Quad Cities. The Cedar Rapids native is 192 under par in 18 appearances here wow. in the Quad Cities. At one point, the 2012 champ shot in the 60s 29 straight rounds. Zach has grown up with the John Deere Classic and has sat on the board for the last 14 years. He hopes for more success this week as he celebrates JDC's 50th year milestone. Obviously, John Deere stepped in and took this, this tournament to new heights. And um, uh, Claire Peterson and, and Kim Huffman before him saw something in a short little kid from Cedar Rapids and wanted to ha help him chase his dream. And, you know, it's the tournament I played the most on the PGA Tour, even with last year. So I, I owe a lot to just the trajectory of my game to this place, to this event, and certainly to John Deere. Every single week can be a positive regardless of what you shoot. And I missed the cuts in both those sponsor exemptions. But the knowledge and the wisdom that I gained just Monday through Sunday, certainly, and on the golf course, I mean, the specifics of putting, and I, 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 I'm probably in debt. Zach will hit the course tomorrow afternoon. He tees off with Daniel Berger and Kevin Knott, 1243. Nine former JDC champions will tee it up this week at Deer Run, and arguably the best is Brian Harmon. The 2014 champion comes back to the Quad Cities as the fourth highest ranked player in the field. Harmer, Harmon rather, has been on an absolute tear the last couple of months, racking up nine top 15 finishes since August 2020, including tied for fifth at the Travelers just two weeks ago. That coupled with his past success at Deer Run has Harmer Harmon, wow, I can't get that one out today, thinking about big things this week. The reason why the scores are low here is not because the course is easy, it's just because the greens are they're perfect. It's, uh, you know, there's a lot of putts to get made, and, and that's okay. You know, that, that's okay. The, the best player in the field is going to win, and that's what we're trying to accomplish every week. It's Harmon, Stricker, and Fratelli playing together in rounds one and two. The threesome has a combined five JDC titles. 